So let's talk about accessing the values in an array using the for each function. So the for each function essentially steps through an array, and for all the values in the array, it can turn those values into variables, and then you can test against those variables. So you can use this for things like if else statements, you do for each you give the array name, you turn the values into variables, and then depending if, on if those variables equal or do not equal something, an event can be triggered, or you can simply use for each to do something such as list out all the names. So the example that I'm going to show you is I have a list of names, possibly people coming to an event, a membership list, something like that, and what it will do is for each will go through, and for each one of the values, it will turn the value into a variable, and then we will print the variable out. So it's kind of like a, a loop, only when you're dealing with arrays, and this allows you to act access the values in the array, turn those values into variables so that you can do something with them within PHP. So with that, let's go over to the computer so I can give you a demonstration to show you how for each works for getting values out of arrays. So I've created this basic for each PHP script and with this we have a simple array here I have not named the keys I have just added basically people's names think of this as like a list of people coming to an event and I've just put those people in there so what we've done again we open up with a PHP tag and we're going to create the variable so dollar sign names and we're going to set the value of dollar sign names to the array and then we're going to put in these different people's names so again you put single quotation mark the name close single quotation mark comma and you continue all the way through so we put in Bob we put in Tim we put in Tom we put in Shelly we put in Julia we close the parentheses and then of course we do the semicolon so this has created the array for dollar sign names and set the value at position zero to Bob position one to Tim, position two to Tom, position three to Shelley, and position four to Julia. Now all we're going to do very simply for this is we're going to use the for each function. So we're going to do for each, then we're going to open parentheses, and the first thing we do with the for each function is we feed it the array that we're going to use. So for this, the array that we're using is names, and so we're going to feed it names. And then you simply do put as, so names as, and then whatever variable you put here, and notice I haven't created this variable beforehand, beforehand you can create this variable right here and so what this is going to do is whatever variable you put here it's going to take the value from the array and it's going to make that value the value of this variable so basically for each the first time this goes through it'll take Bob and so dollar sign value it, it will be set to the value of Bob then it will be set to the value of Tim, then it will be set to the value of Tom, Shelley, and Julia. So we feed it the array name, we say as, then we say what we want the variable to be called for the value that's being fed to for each, and then we go from there. Past that, we just simply close the parentheses, and then we open the squiggly bracket. So the squiggly bracket, uh, basically everything between the two squiggly brackets will, will run for every value in the array. So I could have a hundred lines of code here if I wanted. All we're going to be doing right now is just doing a print. But understand, you could put if else statements bet, uh, here, you could put, put a whole bunch of different code for every value in the array. So all we're going to do is we're going to simply say print, double quotation marks, dollar sign value, and then we're going to do a break. So basically what this will do is for every value in the array, it will print that value and then it will break to the next line, to the next line, to the next line. Basically just a very simple thing here. Then we close the double quotation marks. Of course we do the semicolon and then we close the squiggly brackets. Now to do a little bit, a little bit more with this, what I've done is I printed an additional break line. So basically this array will print out and then there will be a gap print an additional break line. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to sort the array. So again, if this is a report for people coming to an event. So I'm going to use the sort function. I'm going to give sort the names array. 
and then I'm going to use this, uh, the, the semicolon. And now, now that we've sorted, so sort sorts the array in alphabetical order, now we're going to do for each the exact same thing, names as value, squiggly bracket. Then we're going to print out the value of dollar sign value, close squiggly bracket, and then we're going to close the PHP. So for this, what's going to happen is we haven't done anything to the array yet. So this is going to print out the array as it looks as we coded it in. Then what's going to happen here is we're going to sort the array alphabetically and then we are going to print it out after we've sorted that. So now if we go to a web browser, we put in Silicon Dojo, and then we put in for each. Now what we can see is we can see this array gets printed out. So we see Bob, Tim, Tom, Shelley, Julia. So this gets printed out. Each value gets printed out on a line. And then we have a break. And then we see that it gets sorted alphabetically. So now it's Bob, Julia, Shelley, Tim, and Tom. So this is a basic way that you can access the values in an array if you don't know the position of the values. Again, so you could have an if. So you could have this go through, and then if the name equals Bob, then do something. That's the type of stuff that you can do once you're able to turn those values in an array into actual variables. So that's all there is to using for each in order to access the values of an array in PHP. And so with this, what you're able to do is you're able to turn those values into variables, and then you're able to test against those variables or print out the variables, so on and so forth. So this is an incredibly uh, easy way that you can use arrays, again, in order to do simple projects such as uh, attendance lists or anything like that. If you're going to be doing inventory control, if you're going to be doing a lot of different types of things. This is a way you can print out from the array and you can actually test against the values in array and do certain things. So that's all there really is to using for each in order to access the values in an array and that's why it's important.